hey guys welcome back to the effects guy channel and today i'm introducing a new series called mirrors and in this series i'll be recreating cool effects from music videos commercials tv shows a lot of stuff guys and i bet you want to watch this so you guys keep around and if you're new here consider subscribing Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief Pixabay uh, These guys have a lot of green screen footage really cool and nice footage you guys you should really check this out they have a lot in stock all right so uh and it's uh you guys can just come here download anything you want for your uh for your projects and you can actually upload anything yeah so it's a really nice website if you're really into uh production and, and graphics design you guys should try this out all right so uh with that let's jump into the tutorial Alright guys, so I'm here in uh, Adobe After Effects and I have my project files I'm going to use for this tutorial. If you're interested in them, you can get them in the description down below. So be sure to check them out. Alright, so uh, first of all, I'll get my, uh, I'll create a new composition and uh, I'll put it 1920 by 1080 and uh, alright. So in this composition, I get my my background layer over here okay i add my text this is the intro part okay like that okay then i'll get the pan tool and i'll center this like that all right so um I could just scale this to there and I move a couple of frames to there and I bring it down to there then I move other frames I move it down again to there okay so I select all of them keep them assistant easy ease then I get into the graph editor I have to do this like this and this like this then I get this up it to level it with this such that I have a smooth transition coming in alright so we have something like this alright not bad just I need this to be a little bit more quicker here well that looks nice guys so we're going with that uh, you could do a little bit of adjustment and uh, you can do what you want, but I'm going with that. Alright, so I'll create another composition, 1920 by 1080, and uh, let's call this slide. Alright, so um, in this composition, we have to insert our, our background. What we're going to do, we're going to just change the color okay and um, on the upper level uh, we need uh, we need a green screen pic a green screen picture so you guys really need to take thing you take your picture on a, on a green screen okay uh, such so as have something nice coming out so let's use this first okay so uh, scale it up a little bit it's actually best on uh, uh, the the resolution of your pictures come here to effects and presets and type in key light all right drop it on your comp select this and you have a nice cut out over there see that looking nice so uh, the next thing you have to do is create a new solid all right I'll make it a pink a nice pink color okay 
and I'll move it up okay and I'll move it just beneath this layer and on this one I'll come here to layer layer styles and I'll put a drop shadow and under this drop shadow I will increase the size and the distance as well okay something like that so we have something nice coming out and uh, I'll have to scale this up again a little bit okay you could scale it up as much as you want if you don't want you still leave it the same way okay and uh, so we need some text to come again uh, we could put uh, uh, women women and uh, the down text women in the light all right women in the light so uh, what we have to do is just uh, put this lady above all these layers all right such that we have the uh, we have this text looking like it's behind that picture all right make it block just to give it a little bit more of uh, an outstanding look all right and you have to change this woman uh, font to make it black as well all right and uh, adjust the position of this lady such that uh, the words come out right we don't want anyone reading things the wrong way all right okay so we have something like that and we also need some more text for our time and we could put um, decrease this could put every and uh, we put another text Sandy okay and we put the time uh, we could put 14 something like that all right so uh, what, what exactly we could do you get this and adjust it here okay you could make it uh, bold not black and get this Sunday word move it down scale it down not so much a uh, little bit up something like that but we need this everywhere to look small and look like it's uh it's on top of the word sunday all right and then we need this this time bigger than all of them all right you just need to create be a little bit creative and um, have a nice thing coming out right and select this you could actually make it regular mm -hmm just to put a little bit of difference but then here it looks a little bit unclear so um, uh, we shall just make it bold right so we have all that done and we select all this move it there a little bit and we press command shift C and call it text well, no let's call it the time text all right move all attributes in the new composition all right something like that it's already looking nice guys all right so um the next thing we have to do is animate this mm -hmm. uh, so what we're gonna do uh we're gonna start our animation First, we need to animate this lower, lower piece. All right. So come here to effects and presets, and first add an a hue or saturation in it, uh, such that we change the color. All right. We don't want the same color all the way. So change this to. You could make it a. Uh, we need a color that corresponds to the pink. We don't want something evil. <laughs> all right. So. Uh, just keep on adjusting this until you get something nice so we have a nice blue 
kind of thing coming out there see that guys and uh, what we're gonna do we are going to get this and we have to scale it since it's gonna be animating we need some more space uh, to keep it on the move all right so hit P for position move this up and we want it to come from here and in a couple of frames uh, we want it to reach here there all right and uh, then we need to be moving slow we want it to still uh, keep moving but in a slow pace okay something like that so select all your keyframes all of them right click keyframe assistant easy is them uh, come here to the graph editor and I, I really need you guys to take heed of this thing uh, if you want your your animation to come fast and then it slows seamlessly uh, you really need to follow this part so what you do after having all this select here uh, move it up and then get this move it up as well so uh, on this graph editor this uh, it, it determines the, the okay the the speed so if it's on zero that means it's not moving all right and you want it to transition and to keep moving on a slow pace so you have to keep this small transition coming in until the end yeah so be sure to take note of that and uh, let's see what we have all right it's something nice coming in and it's coming in and then it's getting to a slow pace seamlessly you see that it's nice guys so um the next part we have to animate this so uh get p for position uh move it up like that and move a couple of frames so uh what we want to do for this um we want it to come and uh stop actually i think we need to no anyway it's fine uh what we want to do we have to bring it and it stops here okay and then after some time it keeps on moving like we want it to still be animating but at a slow pace all right just like we did this one such that we have a nice transition coming in so get back here and uh move this up front move this up front and uh move this up move this up as well uh to create some really nice animation coming in something like that so let's see what we have all right that looks nice so all you have to do is to adjust this we need uh, we need this coming in first than this not all of them at the same time all right something like that looks nice so uh, the next thing you have to do is to align this you need to align the the words you need to align the words to to this solid background all right let me show you how we're going to do that so uh, you get these words put them in the position where you want them to be at okay get them uh, for example you want them to be there uh, so when you want them to be there get this get this thing and uh, link it to the solid and get this link it to the solid as well so what this does is that it wherever the solid goes the text goes as well and whatever the solid does the text does as well all right so let's see what we have you see guys so the words are coming with the solid pretty simple and pretty nice animation coming all right so then we also have to animate our time um, so this is our time and uh, we need to create a solid a shape layer over here uh, where we want our text to be over there and we need to affirmate this but that's after we create a transition mm -hmm. so we want here after it's gotten here 
about here um, then those are um, over here so uh, move your text up then move a couple of frames and move your text down here select all this easy is it and select this as well move it here like that all right so we have something like this it's nice although the text is kind of fast so you just adjust this such that you have uh, something nice coming in let's see that again all right it's nice just move it uh, a little bit forward yeah something like that so uh the next thing you have to do what you could if you don't want to if you don't want it to really move down a lot uh you get this come here to this point select it and tell it to keep up okay you tell it what you want it to do <laughs> All right, so we have something like that coming up. Looks really nice, guys. So far, so good. So, um, so the next other thing we have to do is to animate this lady, the way she comes in, her movement, and all right. So, uh, we select her, and we come here to effects and presets, and type in linear wipe. All right. So we drop it on the layer, and um, let it look up move this and we have something like that all right uh get it to a couple of frames give it a keyframe move it here and put it to zero so the next thing you have to do is select this right click keyframe assistant easy ease so let's see what we have not bad uh, all you have to do is move it a little bit closer uh, we need all these things to come at the same time so they look seamless all right looks nice guys oh looks nice so you can select them come to the graph editor select this and easy is them like this to have a uh, nice animation coming in all right something like that so when you have this going on when you have this going on uh it's a nice transition coming up just like that all right so um First of all, we have to change this. Uh, send a little bit of an upward transition later on. We need to make sure we don't have any errors coming in. All right, so uh, when you're done with this, then you're actually done. Um, Come here to project. Uh, this is slide, all right. So you have to duplicate your slide uh, as how many uh, as as how many as uh, as many as you want, all right. So just keep on duplicating them, and yeah. So for this tutorial, we're gonna create only four slides. Yeah. So we go into our second slide. Actually, you also have to duplicate the text time uh, as many times as the slides you have. So four, four, right? Then. Uh, get into slide 2 and inside slide 2 all you have to do is replace this uh, so we again I get this uh, select this hold alt drop it in right something like that then here yeah, just come to the screen mat and uh, adjust this mm, just just a clip black all right so we have something nice coming in okay all you have to do is scale it up a little bit and then to remove this black thing up just select only this 
yeah so uh, we have something nice over there uh, then you have to change this color uh, come here to layer solid settings change this to a nice blue color all right and then you have to also change the words we could change this to uh, men's all right uh, no let's put it to classic classic uh, then this men's fashions all right all you have to do is scale it down a little bit all right then we're good to go already and I have to change the time as well so you come to your text time too and you change the time we could make it a 17 and uh, you could change the date if you want you could make it a Tuesday it's really best on you okay something like that something like that so uh, come here to slide 2 get your text time to just hold out and replace this just like that all right so let's see what we have well wow. guys that's a nice animation coming in all right we have something nice coming in okay something like that and uh, the next thing we have to do we go to the next slide we go to slide 3 and uh, we change this solid color we change the solid color to we could make it a yellow or orange color looks nice either way yeah and we also need to change this lower one so adjust this uh, you could change it to a nice looking color like a red see that or that something like that guys so are you see looking nice so all you have to do is change this as well and come here to a project and uh, look look for a picture here a nice picture let me see let me see actually I think I'm gonna use this hold out drop it on and you've switched come here to screen mat adjust the black clear it up uh, scale this up like that put it to full alright so we have something nice coming in like that you see that yeah so uh, you just keep guys you just keep playing around with these things make as many slides as you want so let's get to the to the actual slide part alright so create a new composition call it uh, slideshow just call it slideshow doesn't matter what you call it it's what exactly it is all right so uh, get your get your comp to is it yeah so get your comp to uh, get your comp to drop it in here and so comp I'll come to is oh sorry I'll come to is like that looking nice so uh, after I'll come to uh, drop in the first slide which is slide one and uh, move it like over here so something like this you see that looks nice guys 
something like that. So when you get place like this, you drop in the second slide over here. So let's see this again. Like that. Then the other slide comes in. See that guys? Looks really nice, guys. Yes, so uh, you, you can do as many slides, guys, as you want. Let's get to slide three, drop it in as well, uh, move a couple of frames like over there. Let's see, like that. Nice. Wow, looks nice, guys. And you could do a lot with this effect and yeah, it's a really nice if I try it out you can do it for TV shows and uh, uh, broadcasts a lot of things you can do with this thing guys so check it out and uh, I'll provide you with all this footage in the description down below I'll leave a link for you to get the footage so try it out and let me see your work let me see what you've done leave a comment down below I want to know what you think about this tutorial and in this series I'll be recreating effects so please let me know of anything and I'll be doing it alright so uh, this has been the effects guy and until next time